What's up, tennis players? Coach Jeff here. Thanks so much for tuning in. If it's not your first time, please consider subscribing. And if you do like the video, please like the video. It's a great way to support this channel. Um, first off, thank you to Essential Tennis for that um, opening Novak Djokovic footage. Um, some great footage of him there. Um, in today's Novak Djokovic tennis serve analysis, um, we're going to try to find something that's unique to Novak that no one else does or, or certainly is very rare in the pro game. But before we do that, I always like to go over what they have in common, um, what pros have in common, because that's actually a lot more important for you, the everyday player, um, or the, even the high performance player, because pros, we can copy them. We can't, they actually do things very efficiently. So we can do what they do is from a technical standpoint. Now, they do things harder and faster. And you'll see in our Novak Djokovic serve analysis, he actually does th some things that other players don't even do anatomically with his body. Um, but let's look at what we can do that can help our own serves that all pros do. All right, so first we're gonna start with our knuckles to the sky. You're gonna see all top servers are gonna have their knuckles up when they take their racket back. That's gonna keep the arm loose and set the racket in a position where it's ready to pass over your head and drop back with a loose, relaxed shoulder into that around and on edge position. And I also want you to take note of how their body segments are coiled. The shoulders, a little more than the hips, a little more than the knees, and so on. Um, and now from here, like I said, we're gonna see that racket pass over their head in the hairbrush position. Very important key position here. And, that, and it's just gonna keep dropping back behind their head. The elbow's gonna collapse. And as that happens, they're gonna start to utilize their ground reaction force to push off the ground. And that's gonna stretch out the kinetic chain as it's called in the body, and it's gonna load a lot of force throughout the body. And then from there, we're gonna see the racket come around on edge to the ball. Um, you see, it almost looks like they're gonna chop the ball in half at this point. And this is where the racket really starts to move um, through the body segments. And this is gonna be the same um, on edge position for hitting slice or flat, keep that in mind. And then from here, yeah, they're gonna have to turn their arm to the hit. Um, a lot of that happens on its own, but you are gonna also have to put a little effort into turning that arm out. And then at contact, you'll have a nice, what's called power line. Your body's gonna be in a straight line and you're, it's gonna be facing off to a 45 degree angle. Let's also notice how they tuck those arms into the side. And if you do all that right, what should happen is you're gonna finish in what's called the wrist watch position. So if you had a wrist watch on, you could see what time it is. And uh, the racket turns out on top. So those are some things we all can strive for in our own serves. Again, it might not have the same look. Maybe you won't get as far off the ground. You certainly won't have maybe as much of a stretch at this position. Definitely won't uh, with Novak, as we'll get to in a second. But let's go ahead and do our Novak Djokovic serve analysis. Okay, guys, here we have Novak. Let's check out a serve from him. Um, I think two key things that Novak does that I really like, and it's all about relaxation. Um, the other thing I like is a little harder for us, um, and I'll talk about that in a second, but you've heard about this cobra position before with the wrist um, kind of hanging down before. And even in the start of his position, he just looks so loose with his arms just kind of hanging down by his side. A lot of people do like where they pump their arms up before they hit, and that's going to tighten your shoulders a little bit. A lot of we see it from the top servers. They just completely let their arms hang loose. And you can even watch if you look closely. You'll see when his muscles are flexing or not, and you won't see too much tension in his arms as he starts this motion. Um, you really just see it, him let his arms loose, hang. And this is kind of the ultimate cobra positions where that racket is just hanging down. Or you also, you've also heard people say, stir the paint bucket or something of that nature. But you do want that. It's a completely loose, relaxed arm. The serve is, is going to be a core musculature effort, a ground reaction, a leg driving, initiating the body segments uncoiling. You don't want to think that you need to have a really strong arm to hit a hard serve um, because that's not what's going to do it. It's going to be letting your arm go loose and you're really your whole body go loose to allow that racket to pass over and, and stretch out the kinetic chain, as it's called, in your body. And that's what Novak does so well that, honestly, I think we've seen Novak in some positions on court where we know his body is just built a little differently than other players. 
Um, so you see his nice loose racket passes over his head. Um, and I think what's unique to uh, Novak is we just don't see too many players in this position where his body is so stretched out. Um, anatomically, he has something special going on here where you'll see how close this racket head almost gets down to just below his thigh, almost his knees. Um, and here it really does get to his knees. Um, and, and this is a position you can't force on your serve. Um, I, I don't like it called racket drop. I don't like people trying to force their racket in this position. This position can only be attained, well, this specific position probably can only be obtained if you're Novak Djokovic, but it's really as a result of all these other body segments uncoiling and then the racket lagging back behind and stretching out those body segments. So I prefer to call it racket lag, and it's something if you understand how to be loose and generate force, you don't even really have to force or try. It's just going to happen on, the, on its own. And your racket lag might be different than other people's. You, this racket might not get that close to your knees if you don't have certain mobility, um, an, an ability of, a, of mobility in your body. Um, and, and that's something that I think is pretty unique to Novak, where the way he uses his body through relaxation and through body segments uncoiling is really something only he can do because he has some type of um, you know, anatomic ability to stretch his body out and use his whole body in. And when you ex when you expand the kinetic chain like that, there is so much energy built up in this racket that when it comes through, it's going to come through very fast and with less muscular effort than most players. And so that's why we see him in the 120 range pretty consistently uh, with, with very little effort on his serve. And really, the less muscle you have to, to use, the less calculation... Um, the more relaxed you can be, the more accurate you're going to be on your serve. And that's why we see him regularly hitting his spots on his serve. So um, that's the key thing. Be as loose as you can when you serve. You shouldn't have to feel any muscle tension in your body. Just be completely relaxed. Let that body completely stretch out. And then right about here, you know, use a little effort to maybe turn the arm out at the right time. Um, but most of the effort's going to be right in here when you're pushing off the ground and throwing that elbow forward and around. So be loose and also maybe do some shoulder um, mobility exercises. Do some stretching. Uh, you know, consult with your physician, but I'm going to link in the description. I'm going to link a, a good video that I found on maybe how to get some more dexterity and mobility in your shoulder, which, which could help you generate more force if you're understanding a lot of other things. Um, so... That's our Novak Djokovic serve analysis. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.